If you are familiar with trading, then you know that a lot of traders will tell you that this is a horrible time to trade when we have a bounded range like this without a clear direction in trend. However, today I'm going to show you a specific trading strategy which Binance offers called spot grid trading, which is precisely designed to help you take advantage of this type of price action. So in today's video, we're going to first of all cover when to use it because there's no point in learning about what it is if you don't know when to first of all use it. Then we're going to cover what it actually is and how it works. Then I'll let you know how you can create one yourself. And finally, I'll give you a few pro tips to really help you crystallize your strategy. So stick around until the end of the video for those. Welcome to the channel. My name is Frank and this is Altcoin Buzz. As a friendly reminder, please be informed that this is a volatile space and there is a corresponding risk in cryptocurrency. This video is informative in nature, so please do not take it to be official, financial or investment advice. Also, be sure to check out the link in the description below to see more information about our $600 exclusive altcoin buzz offer here. If you sign up with Binance today, you get a whole bunch of unlockables as well as a 20% lifetime trading fee discount. And to top it off, we have an extra trading competition on Binance. So stick around until the end of the video to find out more information about that trading competition. Okay, so the first question is when to use a spot grid? Well, very simply put, you want to use it when you start seeing that there is a lack of direction in the trend. So for example, here on Bitcoin, at the end of August 2022, you saw we had a very clear move down, and then we had a low here, we had a high here at about 20,500, and then what happened? We came down precisely back to that previous low. So already here, you can see that we have a lower bound over here at around the 19,600 level and an upper bound which actually touched again around the $20,500 level. So here already you can predict that it's likely that we are going to have a bounded range. In other words, we do not have a clear direction in trend and this is where you would be interested in creating a spot grid trading strategy for yourself to take advantage of the volatility within this range. So the best time to use a spot grid trading strategy is when you have volatile markets within a bounded range. So for example, here you can see we moved down, up, down, up. We kept on going up and down. This is ideal for spot grid trading because in spot grid trading, you really don't want to see a very clear trend. You want to see the price sort of be confused and then reach the bottom of the bounded range and then bounce and then reach the top again and keep on bouncing in between the middle. And this is where you make the most profit with a spot grid trading strategy. Okay, so next, what is spot grid trading? Well, imagine that the price action is like this, where the price is going down, you have a buy order, then the price goes up and you sell just above. If the price keeps on going up, then it's actually a bot and it will sell for you again. And then when the price goes down, it will buy again. So essentially you're profiting from all of these small price movements within the range. And you don't have to worry about the bot. It's more or less hands off once you create it. It can last for a pre-specified number of days if you like, but it can also continue running open-ended. So speaking of which, how do we create a spot grid? Well, first of all, if you're on Binance, head over to trade and then go to strategy trading. And then when you're here, go to create a strategy and then create a spot grid over here. And this will take you to the spot grid. So first of all, you have the automatic version of this, which I recommend using if you're just starting out. What I think is best is to start out with a seven day period so it doesn't last forever, but at the same time you start seeing some results. And here they have specified price ranges which are based on a couple of indicators. So again, if you're starting out, I suggest you just start out with what is prescribed. However, you will note that it does require a fairly substantial investment. For example, these parameters requires at least 790 USDT. So if you want, you can copy these parameters to the manual settings and then it will copy the same price range that you had before. That's the lower price and the upper price of the grid, of course. And then the grids is the number of buy and sell orders, basically how tightly packed they are. If you have, for example, 150 grids, 
actually that's even too large to have. If you have a hundred grids, you can see that the profit between the buy and sell orders or between the sell and buy orders is very, very small here. And what you will often find is that you will pay more in trade fees than you will in the profit that you actually derive. Therefore, I think a smart profit to make per grid is usually something between 0 0.3 and 0 0.6. So let's put in, for example, here 50. And here you have between 0 0.3 and 46. And here you can see it's already a smaller investment. The less grids you have, the smaller the investment will be. So if I put just 10 grids, then my investment is just $136. But then of course you'll have much less buy and sell orders being activated. So it's a trade-off that you have to figure out for yourself. Now, if you are creating the manual trade, you have the option to choose between arithmetic and geometric. So as they say on the official Binance website, in arithmetic mode, each grid has an equal price difference, all right, between the buy and sell orders. Whereas in geometric mode, each grid has an equal price difference ratio. So that means that the actual price difference will not be equal. It will change based on the ratio. Which and now I'm going to show you a spot grid, which I actually created yesterday. This is a Bitcoin USDT spot grid. And once you've created it, you will have it show up here and it will be running. And on the very right here on action, if you click view details, you will be taken to this screen where you will see all the details about your trade. So for example, you can see that it's been running for 14 hours. The lower bound is 19,400. The upper bound is 20,850. And the total initial investment was $225. And here you can see the orders being placed. You have these buy orders over here and you have sell orders and you can see how close you are to buy and sell orders. And you can also see the completed orders. And here you will see the profit that you have acquired per order, which has been completed. Now the total profit is actually equal to grid profit plus float profit. And to clarify what those means, grid profit is simply when you have a buy and a sell order, which complement each other. And as you can see here, that is simply the accumulation of these individual profits from each buy and sell order, which match each other. Now the float profit is equal to the current balance including reserved fees minus the initial investment. The current balance can be seen if you click on the working tab here, that's the $61 plus 0 0.00728 Bitcoin. The reserved fees are $6 and 0 0.0006 Bitcoin. And then the initial investment, as I mentioned, is up here on the right. So that will give you a float profit. And as you can see, I have a positive grid profit, but a negative float profit. And that's why my total profit is currently negative. Okay, so I've shown you an example of a spot grid. So now what are the pro tips? So the first pro tip is to actually check out the strategy trading pools, because here, as I mentioned, when you click trade and strategy trading, you have the option to create your own strategy, but you can also head over to the strategy pool. And here you will find that other people have already created successful spot grids. And then you can simply click use parameter and use their own parameters for your own spot grid. So that could be a good and quick, easy way of getting set up. The second pro tip is to start off by using the auto parameters because they have specific indicators which have decided that this is a pretty standard deviation within a seven day time period. So just try with the auto at first. This is not a high risk, high reward type of strategy. It's really a lo relatively low risk, low reward type of strategy. And don't forget that we have an exclusive offer with Binance up to $600 to be one. And we also have a trading competition, a new trading competition, which makes this deal even sweeter. We have up to $1,000, which can be earned on that trading competition. And it's valid for all people who trade between the 14th and 18th of September. All of you will be eligible for winning some of this $1,000. So feel free to check out our link down in the description below for more information about that. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe to our channel or check out other videos on our channel from Matt and Natalie. We post about crypto news, technical analysis, on-chain analysis and more. So feel free to check out those videos. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.